Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in sixes. In this tutorial we will cover skip counting in sixes with numbers up to 100. So let's have a look at our first example. Suppose we have this number 24 and the question is what number comes after 24 if we are counting in sixes? Now there are a number of ways you can do this. There's the number grid which we've mentioned before. What we're going to do is use the dot method. We're counting in sixes, so I'm going to put six dots here. One, two, three. I'm going to put another three below the arrow. So we've got six dots. We're counting in sixes. What number do we start from? 24. So let's start counting. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So the number after 24, if we are counting in sixes, is 30. Now we're doing this at the moment with dots. Once you practice this and keep practicing it, you'll be able to learn these off by heart. Let's have a look at our second example. This time we've got number 66. Now what number comes after 66 if we are counting in sixes? Using the same method we're going to put six dots. One, two, three, four, five and six. Our starting point is number 66. Let's start counting. 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. And that is our answer. Now once you learn with, once you practice this, with mental arithmetic you'll be able to work these out much much quicker. Now let's have a look at a number sequence. This time we've got number 36, We've got a blank, 48, and then we've got another blank, another blank, and 66. So suppose this comes up in a question. We've got three numbers and three blank spaces. There's the first one, there's the second one, and there's the third one. And the question is, what number goes in the blanks? And we've been told that we're going to be counting in sixes. This looks like a number pattern, but we'll come back to those later. So from 36, let's draw a nice big arrow to the first blank, and we're going to draw six dots. I'm going to draw these, all of them, above the arrow. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got our six dots. Our starting point is 36. Let's start counting. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. Now we've been told the next one is 48. So, so far we've got 36, 42, 48. Now I'm sure some of you can work out the next one. But let's work through it. There's our arrow. We're counting in sixes, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six dots. Our starting point is 48. Let's start counting. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. The number after 48, when counting in sixes, is 54. Now we've only got one blank space to fill. We're counting in sixes. This time I'm just going to add six. It's just a different method. It means exactly the same thing. Just ignore the yellow arrow over here. In fact, I'll just erase it over here. Okay, so the yellow arrow is gone. Okay, so it's 54 plus six. 
what is, and we're going to cover the units first, 4 plus 6, now you know this from your number bonds, the answer is 10, 4 plus 6 is 10. And now we're going to do the tens. We've got 5, 5 plus, and don't forget this 1 over here. 5 plus 1 is 6. The number after 54, when counting in sixes, is 60. And the last one is 66. So you can use the dot method to begin with, and then you can simply just add 6. And once you've done that, the next step is to do this without any calculations. Just do them in your head, mental arithmetic.